Hello everybody, you're here with Claro Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today is a great episode uh, because we're going to be featuring YSL Yves Saint Laurent new eyeshadow palette. Oh, it's a little shiny, right? The box. So here it is, the box. I wanted to um, open it up with you. So here is how it comes. Dee -dee 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 -dee. And I was so tempted to swatch it because I already had opened it. <laughs> but I wanted you to really have the experience of how it looks. Look how beautiful. But wait until you see the inside. Oh, it seems to be a stain there, right? Oh, wow. Look at that. Well, it seems to have a stain. And I did get this directly from YSL. So that's interesting. This is Desert Nude. Uh, so if you wanna see how this one looks and a full face with YSL mostly, uh, please keep on watching. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Ring the bell on the right hand corner. And of course, comment down below anything you would like to comment upon. All right, so let's continue. So we already found a little thing there. Oh no, oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. So let's open it up. Now, before I show it to you, I do have to say the unboxing of this, even though it came from YSL directly, was not a pleasant experience. It's not like when you receive Dior or Chanel that everything is gorgeous and beautiful. Even Victoria Beckham, which I did get, uh, a little more nonchalant, but a nice experience, or Charlotte Tilbury, or any of those. This one, it almost looked like an Amazon box. They were huge for what it came in them. And they had like tape inside with not a good experience. Not a good experience. Mm. All right, so moving on. Let's open it up. Oh my God, you have to look at this beauty. It almost looked like a painting. Look at that. I don't know if it will translate in camera but it doesn't look like they eyeshadows because it seems like they raise up to where the bridges are. Can you see that? Like, even if I, like, you see that? Like, it looks flat. So it looks just gorgeous in person. Anyways, so you see all the colors and I really wanted to swatch it before coming on camera, but I just needed to show you this. And one thing before we start getting into the swatches and everything that I have noticed, or when I bought it and I saw it in pictures, is you really can divide, you see this four? That could be a palette, this could be a palette, and this four can be a palette. Also, I don't know if the light, this whole row is a little more brown than terracotta, and this whole row is more peachy tone, red, rose gold, but this is more browns, obviously all in the nude. So we'll see how they perform. But those are some of the reasons why I was so excited to try it on. So before we continue, let's start um, with this palette. I received the My Skin, My Signature New Event Saint Laurent. I don't know if you guys have tried this. Uh, it's a tint. I don't think this is new, but obviously is newest. It says new skincare makeup hybrid. You know, nowadays that everybody came out with this skincare and tints together. I guess this is theirs. Uh, for low to medium buildable coverage with a bare skin finish, natural radiant skin over time. Okay, great. So I haven't tried this and I'm not sure if this is my shade, but this is number two. And uh, we will just try it out. And if it's too dark, well, so it be. But I wanted to try the formula. And we're trying it here with you. Of course, I'm creating a mess. <laughs> Look at that mess. I don't even think I need that much. Let's see what I do. So I'm gonna apply, and I don't know why the lighting, I don't know if it's because of the light that is coming from the outside um, is, at least in the screen, it looks very warm. Like if I went out in the ocean and I'm all tan. But no, no, I have not. Okay, here you go. 
I don't think I have let you guys know why I barely filmed anything last week. So I just wanna catch up on that a little bit. It was because uh, my in-law, my father-in-law is in the hospital. So that took a lot of time and driving and visiting and seeing. And also it was his birthday on Sunday. He turned 89, 89 years old. Can you believe it? I mean, what an accomplishment. I think that's an accomplishment. All right, so back to makeup. Um, of course, we didn't give him cake <laughs> because he's supposed to be out and we'll give him the cake, but I already ate some carrot cake on his behalf. Huh, why not? <laughs> All right, well, so far, this applied very, very nice. Okay. That's very lovely. And let's see, instead of concealer, of course I have this small brush on this side. I mean, why wouldn't I use it? Oh, I'm so used to doing it fast and easy with this one. <laughs> yes, it's hard to break habits. All right, so there you have it. Now, I'm... so what do we think? Very light, very soft. I love how my skin feels. It feels as if I put something soothing and it's not burning, it's not irritating. Um, it did cover. It didn't smooth. It's almost like I can still feel some on top of my skin and showing a little bit of my pores. So that perhaps could be uh, resolve with a little bit of primer. Um, you know, even sometimes I use like a highlighter uh, primer or, you know, illuminating like the Bobbi Brown Balm. And that usually helps with this sort of situation. But I am seeing my pores uh, showing up a little bit. And that's rare for me because I don't suffer from large pores or anything like that. Now, Today, my skin was not the best. So also that doesn't help, but it is what it is. So we'll see how it ends at the end of all the makeup we're gonna try. All right, so I am gonna apply a little tiny bit. I have here YSL, the Touch Eclat. This used to be one of my favorites. Um, and it's, oh, I think I might put a little bit and it's an illuminating. And when I was younger, this is all I needed for concealing. I think nowadays that might this might be not enough, but it's YSL, so I just decided to use it. And um, all right. Now it's interesting because when I started the YouTube channel, I was so confident on everything I was doing. <laughs> and I guess with knowledge comes humility. Now I get all nervous and I start talking fast and I doubt a lot of things that I'm doing. I mean, is it just the times? Is it the new moon? Is it the new era? Or, or what? All right, so there you have it. Now, Let's go to the feature product. Um, I'm going to go and put a little bit of bronzer and, uh, and blush, and I'll be right back. Actually, I can do it here. You can fast forward if you want. That way you see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to use, let's see here, a little bit of Terra from Tom Ford. I'll do it very quickly. And I'll put the stamp below if you want to speed it up to see the the actual uh, eyeshadow palette. All right. At least something, right? So I'm not completely bare. And I thought of putting a little bit, maybe it's not the right one, a little bit of this Chanel, um, the Blush Lumiere Pesh. It's been a while. Maybe it's too peachy, maybe it's too strong, but let's see, just a little tiny bit. I just hadn't pulled it out in a while and I just thought a little bit of peach would be nice. 
I don't feel pinkish today. All right, so let's get into the interesting feature of today. I hope this uh, golden tone that I seen on the screen doesn't translate in the, yeah, no, that's too much. So maybe there, maybe I'm being too close to the light. All right, well, let's see how that works. Okay. So what should I put on? Man, I don't know if I should do one whole look on one side and then some browns. I want to use them all. All right, so I'm going to start with this lane and I'm going to start with that and then this in the crease. Let's see what that does. All right, so I'm going to put this all over the lid. Now, why did I pull in a touch of the Nona brush? I don't know. I guess it, it is not that easy to pick up the product. So I kind of intuitively chose the right brush. All right. So this one is a nice all over coverage. And it does have a little bit of pink, but it's more towards the peachy. I love. All right. And then I'm gonna use the other side of the brush and I'm gonna use this stronger sort of peach on the crease. So it is those perfect tones that you can utilize with everything. Look at that. So, so far I like it. Why? When I say perfect uh, tones, what I mean is, oh, something is itchy, probably. What I mean is this is light enough which it just covers, but gives a little bit of that tone. And this is strong enough to be perfect for a transition shade or just as a shade on its own. So, so far, yay. I haven't tried the other uh, YSL palettes, so this is all a surprise for me. Okay, so I think that I can combine all of them. So what I'm gonna do, because right there, just like that, and then one of these shades, this one or that one, or even this light one will look great on the lid. So you can really do it for a day uh, or to ramp it up. But I am wondering, okay, I'll put a little bit of this sparkly. Look at that, wow. All right, so it's not to pump it up, it's really to to apply it. Might work even better with a brush. We'll try it. Okay, there's some fallout. So let me use a different brush. Uh, I'm looking for one of those workers. <laughs> what do they call it, worker brush? But it's not coming into me looking straight up. Why not? All right, I'll just use this refer 12. This refers, I keep pulling them out for some reason. But I was looking for my Sonia G, but all right, I will use this. Hmm. All right, it doesn't apply as smooth as the Pat McGrath per se will apply, but nevertheless, I think it looks great. So I'm gonna grab with my finger and now really go for it. You know, when I, you first trying a new shade, you kind of learning curve, but no, you don't have to be shy. All right, look how beautiful. Oh my God, I love it. Mm -hmm. Now, if we really want to ramp it up, we can apply a little bit of this red. Oh, I use it with the same finger. All right, now the, the tapping doesn't work. Now the applying, because it's sort of creamy, believe it or not, it does work that way. Yeah, that will give it a little bit of depth, right? So I like that. So now the question is, 
Do I want to do my other eye exactly the same or do I want to try something different? Look at that. Wow. I'm loving it. All right, let's apply a little bit of the uh, lighter shade. What is this color? Oh, this is the Kimboki uh, from Sonia G. Good. I'm going to use this color, which has a little bit of spark on it. And I'm going to apply it in the inner corner. You could also have gone in for the gold. Look at that. Cool. Wow. Yeah, let me apply a little bit of the gold just out of curiosity. That gold is really gold. Oh, look at that. Love it. All right. So what I'm finding out is it does have, you have to be a little careful with the sparkly ones. But I think the rest of it is so easy to apply. I mean, you know me. And what I'm going to apply, you can use a little bit of burgundy or a little bit of dark brown on that eye. I'm going to use the burgundy from Victoria Beckham. And so, um, yeah. So I am going to finalize the look and I will be right back. All right, I am back. I am back with both eyes. Uh, I have to say I love the formula. Uh, the sparkly shades are a little bit fallout, but I cleaned it up. Now we have to do lips. So I don't know if I should do lips first and then do show you all the swatches. Yeah, the swatches. So I thought I had done a much better job in the swatches, but so one of the row it has this color, which is very all over kind of cream color. It's gorgeous. I think it's just perfect because it matches my skin. And then it has this two very light for all over the lid or transition, very natural. And then this one, a little more orangey, very natural, perfect for transition shade. And then it has a darker brown if you just want to fill it up. And then it has this if you want to really ramp it up and it does shine. So we knew this was going to be a casual, I mean, a neutral palette, but I am impressed how they really got the shades right for me. I mean, this is this orangey with my blue eyes. This is the kind of brown tone perfect. This matches. And then this golden really has the shimmer. I mean, look at my inner corner. It really shines out. It reminds me of Pat McGrath for sure. Um, and it's not, uh, you know, the Pat McGrath in a touch of the Nona, usually I do have a struggle wearing that makeup because it bothers my eye, irritates my eye. I feel it heavy immediately upon application. Of course, as I call it, as the price of pretty or beauty, <laughs> but I do have to, you know, measure myself if I'm going to wear or not because of that, uh, slight uncomfort. This one's, I don't feel it being uncomfortable and I've been with them for a little while while I did all the swatching and all of this before I came back. So I am so happy I got this. Now let's go through the other row. Uh, again, perfect, perfect. Oh, did I do this wrong? I think so. <laughs> all right, well, you'll be able to see them. So we have this one, which is the first, a little shimmer. Is the one that I tried on my inner corner, then I changed it to the gold. It is perfect for a natural day, a little sparkly in the lid, a little sparkly in the inner corner. I think it works great. Then you have the, again, the right amount of peach. You saw that because this is the row that I use in my eye today. So this all over is, has just a perfect peach and a little bit of pink in it. Then you have this kind of terracotta, burnt orange, peachy. I just think it's beautiful. And then you have the one that is all over my lid, the spark, more on this side, which is sort of a rose gold, but it has a little bit of red in it. Look how beautiful. It looks prettier on the lid for sure. And then you have this one, which also looks prettier on the lid because here I don't even even see it sparkle. 
um, but this one has more sparkle. It is red. I mean, look at my eyes. That's what I have in the outer corner. But I'll tell you what I love about this too, and especially this one, it has this spunk of color. So usually some of those little glittery, especially those red, you apply them and they kind of dissipate a little bit. This one, I think it brings out that shade. I mean, if you look at me, you see my eyes, you see that red because I have hooded eyes, right? So you can't really see it. So look at that. It reminds me, did you, oh my God, this is gonna be all, you probably won't remember. You know, the girl from Game of Thrones, the, the one that is from the wolf, the, well, all right, she went to this <laughs> the awards and everything and she was with all reds. So very red lips, very red uh, eyelids, very red uh, blush. And I went crazy looking for those shades and I did not find anything similar. This, I think, is the closest. So I love, 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 love it. I don't know what YSL is pairing the blush with, if he has something in those tones, but I thought the Chanel, the peach, um, work perfect because it also has those very peachy notes. And this one will also go perfect with the other side, which is very neutral browns, right? I did wear the Chanel Red, the Camellia uh, highlighter. I just wanted to pull those out. I haven't pulled them out forever, but I think it matches perfect now for the fall. Uh, so there you have it. So they also sent me this Rouge Volup Shine. Um, and so it came with three samples. So this one is the Nude Lingerie 150. This one is a Rose Zentel number 153. And this one is the Chestnut Corset 154. I actually thought these two were gonna be a lot darker uh, so I appreciate the colors that they sent. It's very, very nice. I don't know which color will look good with this. I am either hinting the last one or the middle one. I'm gonna go with the last one, which is the darkest chestnut corset. Again, I really thought it was gonna be a lot uh, darker, but it's not because on the sample, look the color that it looks. You see this color? looks very, very dark, same as this, same as this. And in reality, they are um, very, what is in trend now, right? The very balmy, sort of soft. Let's see how it looks on the lips. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. I was not expecting that at all. Mm. All right, well, it's not as red or as bold as I thought. So that's nice. Of course, I'm not lining it or anything, but. So what it reminds me of, uh, I don't know if you've seen my, my review on the Gucci, um, on this one. Do I have it here? Yeah, this one, that it is red. It's not the same color at all, but um, it feels the same, although this is a little lighter. And it has some kind of, I don't know if it's scent or flavor because it's coming through my nose, but I don't necessarily smell it. But um, but it reminds me of this, that it kind of goes in shiny. And then I think if you plot it, uh, it will recite to live a nice tint. It does feel lighter. It doesn't feel, I mean, it's creamy in the sense that it's soft going, smooth going but it doesn't feel creamy per se. It feels very, very light and very, very beautiful. I'm surprised at how much coverage it has. Oh yeah, you see it's not fading as I move it around, so that's beautiful. All right, well, there are the three colors and that is my review of that. Uh, I do like it, I will recommend it. The question will be if it's long lasting, but this is gorgeous. Now about the new Yves Saint Laurent, tint. Mm, I love the color on me. I love how it feels. Definitely high-end comfort. I don't think it blurs. You see all my wrinkles. And I don't think it does great in smoothing. So, I mean, it sounds horrible if I say it that way, but it's not that bad. It doesn't dry or anything, but I also don't think it smooths my coloring. I mean, I think I see some 
here, some porous, some still red. So would it work? Yeah. Would I wear it instead of my others? No. I don't think, even though it's supposed to be light, but I think it doesn't cover the red, which is the most important to me. I do like the radiance it gives me. So the radiance and the way it feels, check marks. The way it smooths, wrinkles, pores, red. Mm. So perhaps if you powder on top, then you'll be able to fix those things, but then what's the point, right? So probably will not be buying the full uh, size. However, it works well. I mean, it works. So hmm, maybe I'll try it a second time with what I had left over. And if I change my mind, I'll let you know. So that's all for today. I will be doing a second eye look in another video. Uh, so expect that if you want to see it. But for today, I thought just one of the rows was enough. And with the swatches, this is the other side, the browns, the terracotta, the gold, and what we tried today, which is this one. And then of course the lips, perfect, good video. And there's my dog <laughs> already saying hello. So this is the time. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please ring the bell in the right hand corner. Please thumb up and please comment below. Will you get this pouch? Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.